you know, the gigantic Jesus Christ down there overlooking the ghetto of Brazil. They said that they uncovered the uh, covering because it was refurbished. Jesus had been under restoration. For refurbishing. And that they had restored Jesus because he was rusting away and they had to put new iron in order to restore Jesus and also that they uh, put new tile and uh, you know different things like that to restore Jesus because he had been there too long out in the rain just standing there looking down on the slums of Brazil now this goes to show you how ignorant people are about Jesus. And they also said on SANA that uh, it cost almost 20 to 25 million dollars to restore Jesus upon that mountaintop of Brazil. So are you going to tell me that man created Jesus again? He's born again? To show you how big a fool these people are about Jesus. I wish the will Jesus will stand up, but I know his time is not ready yet, but it won't be long. We're only three clicks away from the fulfillment of prophecy, if you understand prophecy. Now, it shows you how ignorant man has become when he restores Jesus by iron. In other words, he's an iron man. And I guess he's born again after they lifted the veil for the whole world to see that Jesus has resurrected out of iron made by man's hands. And they made sure that they uh, cleaned all the bird crap off of his head, made sure that he got a new uniform, a long, beautiful white robe, long blonde hair hanging down over his shoulders. I was mesmerized with these fools to show you how lost they are. This is why I don't I spoke those very words. When they said, but Lord, we did this and we did this and that in your name. And what was the answer that God said he would say to them? I don't even know you. I don't know those people either. Because I'm getting fed up with all these Jesuses popping up here and there. Christians, you claim you read the Bible. Don't you know the word of Adonai, God you call him, when he said, when they say, Lo, he's in the desert. Lo, he's on the mountaintop. Lo, he's in the valley, said, don't go there. Those are fools working miracles with their hands, building a statue out of iron. Oh, man, I've been seeing that statue all my life. He just stands there and stands there and stands there. I guess next they're going to say he, he's going to yell out, Barack Obama, you, who, 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 Barack, Barack. Just that Jesus would probably say that. We just say, Pope, the rope of dope. It's the Pope, the rope of dope. Yeah, I bet. Rope, you're going to have a rope around your damn neck if you don't work the hell up. Stop building all these different uh, uh, worshiping uh, Jesus Christ, claiming that you know God. And here we got Glenn Beck also yesterday on Fox News to show you how those people are idiots. He's got a book out now called Saint Sarah. Can you believe this? You know what, people? Glenn Beck should get Sarah Palin in 2012 to run for president, and he run for Brian vice president, and use Dick Cheney, head of the CIA, so he can destroy this world and obliterate you fools. Because that's what's going to happen. Take me for my word. If you keep following, following, paling, that ding a -ling, don't you know she's getting rich off of you idiots They call yourself independent? You're not independent, you're a Republican. 
and then up in Seattle, they say this morning on the early morning news, somebody's mailing out letters to all of the federal agencies around the world. Everybody knows that's the Minutemen and those type of people like the Republican Party. Hey, I tell you what, I've been watching you fools, and what you're not doing, you're not proving me wrong, and that was my first video when I came on YouTube. Prove me wrong. We got this little young idiot saying that uh, she's mad at Barack Obama because uh, uh, he don't want them to use tanning, uh, to do tanning, to use lotion. Well, hell, go down there and step in that all you become black. You understand? Become black like that oil, you will never have to have a tan. Orderly. Orderly. Standish mish in Deutsch. Hey, Capron. Du stupido. I'm telling you people, the world is in a rush. All of the Republican Party out yelling, drill, baby, drill. And you look at all that mess in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. They're screaming to Barack, spill, baby, look at the spill. And they want Barack to be God now and tell the skies to say peace to the oil. Why should he do that? You fools, you don't like him. You call him monkey, saying he's not a citizen. He don't know what he's talking about. Well, let's look at Green. Can you believe this guy, Green, from South Carolina, got 62% of the votes. Nobody never heard of the guy. And he said that he paid his way to run for office. And he's on welfare or some kind of care or fair or something. And this stupid guy, Green, doesn't even have enough money to buy him a hamburger from, or a Big Mac or a child's dinner from McDonald's with the golden arches. And they asked this idiot, uh, did you uh, campaign uh, 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 when you were running? And then he states with his dumb ass, yes, I campaigned all over the state. I bet you didn't go to the white neighborhood in South Carolina and campaign. They would have hung him. See, but he campaigned broke. And they said, well then, where did you get the money? He says, I used my wine money. He said, I had enough to buy me some wine, but I figured if I could get up there with the Senate and win the Senate seat, go to Washington, I could get all the money like all those fools up there doing. That's all they're doing is robbing the public, uh, those congressmen and those senators. So I wanted to go for the highest office under the president, and that's to be a United States senator. I realize I'm black, I didn't stand a chance, he quotes, but I won fair and square. No, he didn't win, it wasn't fair, it wasn't square. And he ain't no friend of mine, I'm going to tell you. If, this the kind of, if these are the kind of idiots we got down in South Carolina, no wonder they got all the problems. You vote for a man you haven't never seen and give him 62%? Hey, why don't you tell him to go down there and get a shovel and help those criminals that's out on parole to dig up that oil off the beaches for them white people so they can go and get a tan. See, have you not noticed that all them black people getting up all that oil? Where are they getting from, prison or from the ghetto? I think I saw two white guys, none of them was Glenn Beck though, but he's pitching a bitch on, on, on his channel with that Ouija board. I didn't see Paling down there with no shovel. And here she's going to meet with the uh, former prime minister of England. I guess she's probably going to tell her to redo that lipstick and get that hair done before they put her on there with Senator Boxer of California. I'm out of here. I'll be the sin. Cheers. Estela Wago. Vamanos, muchachos. Ciao.